Hi there, my name is Sean Nielsen. I'm a photographer based out of Southeast Alaska, and today I'm going to be comparing two drones for photographic use. I specify photographic because mainly I just take stills and don't shoot much video. Uh, today I'm going to be comparing the DJI Inspire 2 to the Autel Evo. Uh, primarily, I just take stills, so I'm not really doing a video comparison here, but I am going to explain why I switched from this beast to this more uh, user-friendly, at least easier to use uh, machine, which is really, as far as stills go, just the same. You could argue that the that the DJI video is superior, and it probably is. Uh, the flight uh, is probably superior, uh, handling and everything a little faster uh, than the Evo. But if you're just taking stills, um, I really prefer this product uh, to this one, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, some of the reasons, uh, obviously the size, this is just huge and I can't take it anywhere. This is much more manageable. Uh, the Inspire um, also has a lot of different difficult restrictions if you're flying anywhere near an airport. Um, also, I live within five miles of an airport in a remote area, and since I don't really have access to Wi-Fi or even a cell signal in a lot of these locations, it's physically impossible for you to get this thing off the ground. So I would have to go online, uh, get a waiver to fly in the, in the area, and then drive or, or something to the location while the machine is still running. So it's really difficult. The, the Autel Evo is much more simpler in this regard. Image quality, as far as that goes, I think the stills, the digital negatives, the DNG files on the Evo are just as good as those from the Inspire. And it just seems so much simpler and I get the same product. And obviously it's a lot cheaper too. This is about a, a $3,000 bird. This one's about 800. So I'm going to also go through, uh, I guess the last reason is just the ease of setup. This takes a really long time to set up uh, and take down, and this one goes really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and start my stopwatch and uh, see how long it takes. Let's start with the uh, Inspire first. Okay, let's go. Six buckles or clasp and get this thing undone. It takes two batteries. Power up the bird first. camera on there. This is an X4S, not that it matters too much for this demo. Sometimes that camera doesn't like to go on, but it went on for me there. Let's get the props on. Okay, get the controller out. That usually makes a different sound when it powers on. There it goes. This requires a iPad or something to, to view with. Secure that in place, connect it. Okay, start the app up. There it is. Okay, I'm at 2 minutes and 30 seconds now. 
Flying in controlled airspace. Dismiss. Go fly. And I'm getting an error message that says it cannot take off. Because compass error calibration required. Um, that happens occasionally, so I've got to calibrate. Calibrate, yes. Rotate the aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. Okay. Rotate the aircraft 360 degrees vertically. Okay. Guess I wanted to do it like this. So satellite position off, fly with caution. Didn't like that calibration. Oh, now it's taking, now it says cannot take off. Why is that? Calibration required. I'm at three minutes and 54 seconds now. So let's see if I can calibrate it. Try again. Rotate 360 degrees horizontally. Okay, did that. Okay, now rotate aircraft 360 vertically. Addy mode. Okay. Battery voltage difference in the batteries. That's another common error that I get. Now it says ready to go. Let's see if we can start it. Okay. That was four minutes and 45 seconds. Let's cancel that. All right, now four minutes and 45 seconds. Let's try the Autel Evo. All right, let's try the Autel Evo next. This one just flips right out. Props are already attached. This also comes with its own controller, the built-in screen. I really like a lot. It's powering up. Connecting, connected, ready to go. All right, 40 seconds. All right, I love it. 40 seconds and I'm up and flying. I can put this thing away and go down the road and, or the trail or whatever and do another uh, flight. Also, flight time is really great on these. I've got this thing with three batteries and it advertises about 26, 27 minutes of flight time and that's about what I'm getting on the uh, Inspire. It advertises similar amounts, but I never got more than about 22 minutes of flight time. And I fly in pretty similarly. But basically, I've switched from the Inspire to the Evo because of ease of use, uh, portability, and uh, great image quality with both. But I'm, I'm happy with the Evo. And uh, just the, the lack of all the restrictions uh, that come with the DJI Inspire. So if you're a photographer, you want to take some good stills, uh, you want to be able to go quickly, and you don't want any hassles with firmware upgrades and, and all kinds of error messages, uh, I really prefer the Evo. Certainly they can both get the job done, but this one happens to be working for me. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.